Hey, what is up, YouTube? Mallerson 10 coming at you with some breaking news out of Washington, D.C. Uh, there's an article out of Drudge Report saying federal agents arrest a man who's allegedly planning on suicide bombing the U.S. Capitol. Uh, the FBI and the U.S. Capitol Police arrested a Moroccan man Friday in downtown Washington after a lengthy investigation into an alleged plot to carry out a shooting spree and a suicide bombing at the Capitol. Uh, the man's name is Amin El Khalifi. Uh, he was 29 years old and he was picked up while carrying an inoperable MAC-10 automatic weapon and a fake suicide vest provided to him by undercover FBI agents posing as Al-Qaeda associates. You guys, this is just another case of the underwear Christmas Day bomber. Uh, it's, I'm really kind of starting to lose faith that any of, well, I know for a fact none of this uh, Patriot Act and NDAA stuff really is working or effective. All this is really going on is the FBI is finding these feeble-minded people, sick-minded people who are easily manipulated into doing just awfully terrible things. And yes, all these things that they were planning, they are horrible things and they really should be, uh, I guess, addressed and stuff like that. But the FBI is going against people and they're finding these people who are easily swayed and manipulated into doing whatever they want. So, okay, you find someone who's talking about how the government is bad on the internet. However they search and they find these people, they find them. They go and they give them all the supplies that they need to carry out this operation. They would not be able to obtain these things without like the FBI helping them. They're not going to be able to go out and get a MAC-10. They're not going to, they don't have the money, they don't know the people they need to get this stuff from. They supply them and I honestly am starting to believe that the FBI is doing this just to reaffirm why we need the Patriot Act, why we need the NDAA, why we need all these different bills that are taking away our personal freedoms and liberty every single day. Uh, I, I don't believe in these things. I don't believe in the TSA. I don't believe in naked, 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 naked body scanners. Sorry, guys. It's, it's late. It's a little after 1230 at night. I uh, just got home and started reading this article. But... Uh, Almost two years ago, I put out a video talking about how I don't believe that naked body scanners are constitutional and they should not be legal. They should not be in any airport. I'm sorry, but that's just a breach of our uh, Fourth Amendment. It's just an illegal search and seizure. They have no right to be viewing that stuff. Uh, and I'm sorry, guys, but there are more people that die every year of bee stings there are from terrorists. I believe that bigger threat is the government. We lose more rights every single day from our government than we do from terrorists. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that I'm way off just in right field on this subject? Do you think that we need the Patriot Act and the NDAA? Or do you think that the FBI is kind of going out and finding people uh, to reaffirm why we need the Patriot Act, why we need the NDAA. I know that there are bad people out there, guys, but I really don't think that we are as much at threat as the government likes to believe we are. Uh, they really perceive us as we are at a mortal threat every single day, and I honestly don't believe that, guys. So let me know what you guys think in a text or video response down below. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Share this with as many friends and family as you can. Get the word out there. Also, guys, make sure that you check out ronpaul2012.com. Ron Paul is the man right now, and he is on fire. So as always, guys, this is Matt Larson 10. Go Ron Paul. Peace.